here at Java World. Welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. Today we will be doing more well fitting with my buddy Sam since it's been three months since we last met. Good to see you once again. It's been three months since we last met at Mowberry. It really has been that long since we met. And we will reunite here at Java Road. Usually, we would get a whole bunch of Chicago Line trains before a train out of Cleveland. Not today. Today, however, we would see our first train on the Cleveland District. Either 10Q or 316 from Bellevue. I have no idea what type of symbols this one is. And the scanner would not pick that up for us today. It would only pick up the Chicago one. And that's what we basically well fan on. But sometimes we would get a lot of our trains on the Cleveland District as well. Let's get the west of this train. Alright, we would get this in a mortal heading eastbound at 5 Java. But we would miss one before getting the one on the Cleveland. Now we finally get one on the Chicago line. 258. 258 is a Kansas City, Missouri, all the way to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. They sometimes take the Bostoya district. A lot of most of our time, we would catch it on the Chicago line. They've been getting pretty good contrast on their train lately. Here and there, it's cool. Anywho, we would catch a lot more on the Chicago line, but then we would make some other changes for our day here. I would have zero clue what the symbol on this animal would be. I would be on top of my friend Sam's truck for this train. And I would be getting a screw shot of 
this in more with the drone. And, um, yeah, they were going fast. Right after 258 came through, the next one went through Sandusky, Ohio. So, that was only like, maybe like 13 or 10 miles away till it gets here. But then we have a radio on us, so that can tell us where the, when it goes by the new DD or not. Well, that crew would give us a good horn show on that one. This would be a first westbound on the skyline. We would get our first one, since all our trains would get eastbound. No other than westbound. This is our first westbound of the whole day. So, I have no idea what the symbol on this one is. Probably heading to Chicago or Kansas City, Missouri. Not really a cure on that one, but he's definitely heading to Chicago. Following westbound on the Chicago line at mile post 224. This is our another eastbound on the Cleveland District. The first one we saw was an eastbound manifest that was going on the Chicago one. Well, this one's going on the same thing too, but I have no idea on the symbol. Either 316 or Tank Q, whatever it is that's heading east on the Cleveland District. We would get this barn in our shot for this eastbound. But then, this would be the last train catching on the Cleveland District here at Java.
we would get another westbound after getting the whatever symbol on that Cleveland district train, whatever it is. We would come back here and see that westbound coming up 224 per the ATCS. ATCS would treat us very well because we could track it, track trains on it, see where they're at. But on the Toledo area, we cannot view ATCS on there. Now, I decided to go creative on this shot for this eastbound and immortal. No idea on the symbol. 20 a.m., something like that, probably. That's probably what the symbol on this one. Got really low to the ground and then went up as I go. So. That's, this is what the shot looks like. Technically, I was supposed to get a really nice shot with the drone because I was going to do some different shot, but it ended up turning out really nice. So this is what the shot looks like. I was out for the ways just to get the shot, but it was worth it after all. That was a Wells Fargo Mac from second on this 22X going towards Harrisburg from Chicago, Illinois. Per to ATCS, he would cross over at Sandusky, but then he would cross back over at 219 on the Chicago line, basically. He has a lot of trailers on this one. Now, 22X usually has a bunch of trailers and mixed with containers and models on this one, too. Chase case to say that this would be the last eastbound here at Java Road. Me thought that was the last train. We would only get one more before heading up to Bellevue, Ohio. So I would get some heads up that L11 from Australia to Bellevue, Ohio would run with NS6963 Go Well Heritage 
XD60E. It would trail towards Burview, but then I would get some info that it would lead to go back towards Burview, Ohio. I would end up getting some short clips of the go well before we end up moving to a crossing east of the yard. I know. But I kind of do not regret moving to Burview. I have to say, it's been like six years since I've seen the go well, so it's been a long time. We gotta do it quick. She's a cutie on me. After getting some short clips of the go well that was just sitting there, he would end up getting on the move. So then we decided to head over to a crossing east of the yard. But then he would spot it another well Fargo trailing on a mixed plate coming out of Bellevue to go east on the Cleveland district. Safe to say, if we would still be at Java right now, we would have probably got this 316 or whatever symbol this one is. This was probably 316. Either that, it's either 18 and something like that. Not really sure what one's on the Cleveland district out of Bellevue. But it was cool getting another Wells Fargo.
we would chit chat here at the crossing, the well park. But then we decided to move to this crossing here. We end up just like talking for a few hours without trains. But then this will be the only train here above you, basically. This is basically L11 coming out above you to go back towards Foster Oil, Ohio with the Go Well unit leading this time. Since it's blue hour, I got a really dark picture of it, but with editing, it's okay. But I am not going to use it to post on, like, Flickr or any social media. Here it is with the Go Well.
course, I had a good time with my buddy Sam. That was a good time with you, buddy. But then, we have to go back on a little bit at home. But anywho, it was a fun time meeting up at Java. And maybe going to love you for the go well. But then, we had some good shots. But we'll wrap up the video here at Bellevue, Ohio, and I will see you y'all either the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells.